Have you ever wondered how editors achieve that before and after transition in Premiere Pro? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into Premiere Pro or video editing. Now, as mentioned in this video, we're gonna show you how to do that before and after wipe that you may see in some videos. And this is really useful if you want to show the before and after of something. Maybe you're doing real estate, maybe you're doing makeup tutorials, maybe like us, you're showing effects before and after they happen. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'll show you exactly how you can do it. So here's the shot that we're going to use. And this was shot in a raw format. The first step is to duplicate this shot and then place it on top of the first one. Now this is the shot that we want to make the changes to. So for this example, I'm going to color grade this clip and apply one of the editor's keys LUTs. And this will be for the before and after transformation. So I'm gonna do a bit of color grading now. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in color grading, we do have a ton of videos all about that on the channel, so you may wanna check those out after this video. Now, to do the wipe effect, go to your effects panel here and search for the effect wipe, and you'll see it here in the wipe category. Now, drag this onto the top clip, and you'll see it starts straight away. And you know what, we don't really want that. We want the audience to have some time to see the before, before we jump into the after. So simply drag this clip and pull it forward like this. And there you go. To make it longer, simply drag the effect to the right and then drag it to the left if you wanna make it quicker. Next, if you want the actual line in the center to be bolder and look a lot more obvious, make sure you select the effect that's on your top clip. Now go into Effect Panel, and here you can see it says Border Width. You'll want to increase this to add a border, and underneath you can change the color of it as well. So I'm gonna change it to white so it really stands out. And now we have the perfect before and after transition. Okay, so what about if you wanna use this as a GIF? Maybe you have a website and you just want to display this on your website, maybe on the product page to show the before and after. Let me show you how you can do that. Okay, we're gonna click the effect on the clip and then press Command C to copy it. Then place your playhead just at the end of the clip and press Command V to paste it on a Mac. Now I'm gonna make the end a little shorter, just like this. Now select the effect you've just copied and go into your effects control panel and tick the reverse box right here. Then make sure you have loop playback selected. And if you can't find it, click this plus icon here and drag it into your panel. Press the letter O to create an out point and drag this at the end of the sequence. And this will create the loop. Now you can play around with how long you want each wipe to be. Do what best suits you. And then export this as a GIF. And all you need to do is go into export and select animated GIF in the format option. Another option is to use the free app, which is GIFSKI. Simply just export the video file and then drag it into the software and this will make a GIF in seconds like so. And now you have a small GIF that you can put onto your website and you also have the high definition video that you can throw up onto your YouTube channel. So there we go, that's just a super simple and quick tutorial today. Perfect if you wanna show off your skills as an editor or maybe some products on your website. So let me know if that helped you in the comments section below. And if you're looking for more Premiere Pro tutorials, we have a ton that you can watch up here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.